Sydney's right in the middle of, of a major war. Drive-by shooting, shot five times and lived. There are children in houses and they're spraying these houses with dozens of bullets. A serious targeted assassination in a public street during daylight hours. Drug importation in the multi-millions of dollars. He knew there was a million dollar price on his head. So last October in southwest Sydney, there was a, a junior drug runner who worked for the Alamedine family. He and the Hamseys clashed and the Hamsey family have been around Sydney for a long, long time. The godfather of them really is Basim Hamsey, who's now in jail and he started Brothers for Life. But since then, the Hamsey family have grown and grown and been constant conflict with the Alamedines. But last October, it actually just exploded. Early one morning, Majid Hamsey was shot dead at the front door of his home. Two killers in black run towards their target, Majid Hamzi, who's just been shot four times. 17-year-old relative of the Alamedines was shot five times and lived. The police are seriously disturbed that this has unfolded in broad daylight on a Sunday afternoon. Drive-by shootings of Maha Hamzi's unit block. Across a street and through the hospital window. It's where Hamzi's aunt was shot eight times in 2013. These sort of wars, you know, these guys don't care about, about collateral damage. Bill L. Hamsey, who is the son of Maha Hamsey, the matriarch of the family, he knew there was a million dollar price on his head. And he'd known this for a couple of months. The police had told him, his underworld friends had told him and said, Bill L., they're after you. The Alamedines want, want to knock you. He moved into the city, into an apartment down in Chinatown, where he obviously felt pretty safe and he did like the good life. He couldn't help himself. He still wandered around the streets of Sydney thinking that he was safe because he was in the CBD. There are cameras everywhere, there are police, there are people. They do try and protect themselves. Obviously, in this case, not enough. He made a date to go to dinner with a, a woman who was not his wife. His wife was, uh, was elsewhere. They went to dinner for about two hours, and then he stepped out at about 10.30, and there waiting for him was a Audi with a gunman in there. They fired about three, four bullets at him, hit him three, four times. Then did a U-turn, and while he's lying on the ground, fired another three or four shots. Bilal Hamzi was ambushed and cut down in a hail of bullets in the heart of the city. A lot of people think, oh, there's another, this is a crook being shot. You've got to remember, this was in a very, very busy Sydney street, Thursday night at 10.30. So that code of women and children, you know, are, are left out of any war. These guys don't care about that anymore. They're, they really don't seem to have any moral compass whatsoever. It always starts over something like, you know, you shouldn't be selling drugs in that suburb. Um, but then ego takes over, and that's what it's about now. It's no longer about money or a suburb or a coke deal. This is about having face in that criminal community. They've got to try and assert their authority. And now, now the Alamedines are well in front. <laughs> They've killed two major players in Majid and Bill El Hamsey. The Hamsey family now are under enormous pressure to try and retaliate. They have to show that they're not weak, and that's a real problem for the police. There will be members of that family and his, what they call, crew, who will be looking for retribution. 